And right now, wildlife officers are putting out an alert. You are looking at an elk literally attacking a woman in Estes Park, that animal charging at her. This was right by the visitor center, and that video is getting a whole lot of attention this evening and raising concerns from Colorado Parks and Wildlife that people are getting too close to wildlife. Our Ivan Hernandez is in Estes Park this evening and explains the simple step a city worker did that probably saved that woman's life. From this mark in the grass made by a charging bull to that small boulder where a woman was attacked, people I spoke with say it all happened in a matter of seconds. For many, Estes Park is an escape. From breathtaking sceneries to its abundant wildlife. They're just magnificent animals. Roma Griffin and dozens of others couldn't help but stop and admire the herd of elk. I'm cautious, but I'm, I'm not scared or a similar situation happened yesterday when several people got too close to a bull near the visitor center. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> One city employee saw it all unfold and decided to step in. I wasn't feeling nothing at the time. It was so quick. I just knew I had to get the truck in between that bull and those people right about here. And then he hit me as soon as I got here. And then I backed up a little bit because he came at the window and I didn't want his antler coming into the window. So I backed up a little bit and then he kind of false hit again. And then he was backing up more so I was able to swing back in. It, it sounded like wood on metal. He just hit so hard. And then the truck rocked. I leaned over and then when he backed off, I leaned back in. And, you know, I was just staring in his eyes thinking he's, he's pretty mad. He's headed back. He's coming back. Brian says there were a total of three bulls in the area. When it looked like he managed to get one to run away, he charged toward him again. And as I came back, um, this bull bugled again. So he came darting right back through and the other smaller bull took off running and he turned around and just took off. I think I was just at the right place at the right time. It's kind of, kind of cliche, but man, I knew I could do something, so I did it. Because of his actions, nobody was injured. Colorado Parks and Wildlife says this all could have been prevented and the crowd provoked the response. They say because of Elk Fest happening this weekend, they want everyone to maintain a safe distance from elk. In Estes Park, Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.